off a very impressive five-time Colombian national champion in the amateurs. What a unique story. I mean, he grew up tight life, has found religion, is newly first when he beat Junior. 22 victories, including IBF Junior Welterweight Champion of the World from and undefeated WBC Super Lightweight Champion of the World. Good luck to both of you. Open up the beast in me. Rango, do my talking. Jab. Hide with his punches. Nice. Can't hit with anything. But Alexander's doing the right thing. Even as he's moved up in competition to consistently stun. Lateral movement out of range, isn't it? Side, whether it's the right side or the left side. Now make him. Two minutes into the fight. Alexander hasn't been. Rango. Sort of just kind of. Right check hook. And really. Mean right hook. Stop at the bell. And here you see Alexander throwing the uppercut. Trying to come back. And here you see later on. Alexander stayed consistent in the first round with his jab, although he landed only eight of them. He did throw 49. One of the reasons by Ringo. Alexander's attempted style is so admirable. Hand speed. Much movement that he's out of punch. Alexander. Rango. The ring. He's using his. He's just going out there throwing one jab, and after cross with his own punches, kind of flick out a bunch of jabs without space. He's still a. He's about. To Distance here in the second. Getting ready for the start of round number three. Trying to press, letting him do what he wants to do. Well, like to impose his will on him. A bit more. He tried punching Alexander, slow him down. I'll tell you what, he's finding success. He found it in the first to hurt Alex for it with one of those right hooks. Pro fight in the gym. In the amateur. Bad area as well. Against Bailey, did you rank up? Do what he's doing, but. Something right there. Durango ran. Left, just veered away from that right. Well, he's, you know, he's not even thing. And until he, he has to watch out for his hook, and he's going to keep that left aware of it. Said, oh, you know, after he throws his combination. Third round with Durango start. And Devin Alexander. Nothing. Third hook, Durango is looking at Blood coming down into his left, a little bit busier. And then with the right hand. Too many. Or Harold, I don't think it's... Lewis, Max Kellerier this evening. You'll see it in a rebroadcast later. The Mohegan Sun. Devin Alexander. One. You know, I haven't seen one. Right. You know, he's not one of those kind of guys to make last two right hooks, and therefore his fist. Let me look. Used to go in the punch, and I didn't want to get hit by it. What are some of the things that you rank even more effective? Well, you know, he oh, needs to control the left, right there. That time, knock that hook from your rango. And your rango has yet to then. He's got tank. Something they say he doesn't turn over his out of out of his punches. There goes a pretty good job being able to use the uppercut effectively and the hook to get to the head of Juan Urango. Well, if you notice, Juan Urango, every time he starts out a punch, he puts his head down. He dips first. So the uppercut is a great weapon to use against him. Well, we talked about that cut on the left side of Urango's face. Well, Alexander's done a lot of work. So let me ask you this. You, you made it of some sort to force Urango's hand and then counter it? Absolutely. In some cases, you know, he, he does dips to one side and throws that. Every time he misses, a big guy like that, you know he's coming with a heavy shot. Alexander's thrown more jabs, 214, than Urango has thrown total punches. One power of Urango with it. That second hook that came with the right hand from Durango. Such a good test for him. Can he discipline to do it on Durango's? Durango is very strong-willed. Not to say 
has remained calm. Stepped up the pace a little bit. Score more points and connect a bit more. Good right. Has to make Urango respect him. The guy that in your run jabs landed 12 of them, 24%. Urango threw 52 punches. I got, I got to say, um, you know, when you fight as danger is, that if things are to control your opponent in this, we have to do every round. You feel like Alexander even comfortably when you, but you also feel like on the edge that Urango very well he's doing the right thing the intense in this fight he knows that he has to box use that jab and that's what he's doing he, he is but seems to win but he's shown the ability to land that hook all you know if you see he can do it again made some adjustments and this you know you could say urango's intensity is kind of time urango doubled up that right hook went to the body and the head to his form and technique you know, everybody loves to see these type of fights where there's one guy is, you know, surging in. Come by Benji Stevels, eye of your rank from a punch. I asked him in between, although he's going back. And oh, how the get him a water. I think the old scorecard as usual is very good. And by some, I think most of this fight, but there were those who liked Durango. And with that, over the second half, Alexander's never been would start to impose himself, in, himself physically at the first round. You know, two years ago, he won a decision against the veteran. He shot win, but you know you're. So it's a play out over these. Punch combination because you think he's going to stop on two. But yeah, yeah. And that same was consistent to hurt Junior. Digging in with those power punches gets. <laughs> but the two in the one, two, the kind of accurate left hands. Alexander throw four, and it was number four that lead punches, too, which are important. <laughs> Had it in rain, 42%. He landed. We'll see if Durango employs his. For a man, he is not this round. Well, that you can do that. Yeah, you can. I mean, pressure breaks the pipe. Oh! 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 Uppercut knocked down Urango. Four, five, six, seven. And he, we talked about that experience in the last fight. He's going to have to summon that again. And he's hurt again, and down he goes again. The first knockdown was a situation where he was throwing a punch and got caught with that same uppercut that we've been seeing all night. This is by Alexander throwing a punch and you get hit at that moment. That's like a shocking punch. Boom. Like he got shot. You pointed out earlier in the night, he dips his head in and out perfectly. Another look at it. Yeah, exactly. Anytime he's moving to here in round number eight. Shot right to the temple. And then Alexander, nice and patient, and again fires that uppercut. And I don't even think the uppercut really landed. I think it Let's see it again. Right there. He's looking. He no, does. that uppercut landed. It did, but not to the effect of the other one. No, but you, you have to remember. Those 530 big hooks to the